Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. There is some spring stuff, there's some new stuff, there's some fun stuff, so let's get to it. I found these stacking eggs in white. Um, I'm kind of excited because I think what I wanna do for inside, I'm gonna use the colorful ones outside, is use my rub and buff in that gold color and kind of just do a little rubby rubby on it and give it a little vintagey kind of gold vibe. And then I'm gonna stack them next to my fireplace. And these were $5. So I grabbed those and it was the only one they had in white. Then I got one of these, this was also in the $5 section. I have a big one of these, but it takes up a lot of room in my garage. So I'm kind of hoping this will work. It's a pressure sprayer. You pump it, right? And then you spray and you pump it and you spray um, for weed killer for my garden. But if the size works, it's perfect. And that was $5 as well. Um, I found, I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree. And these are the Jolly Rancher Green Apple. I love these in the summertime. I mix one with cherry and make candy apple. It's so good. So I grabbed two boxes just to have. I'm gonna start stocking up for summer. And then I got some strawberry peach as well because it just sounded good. I don't know. I have an itchy head today. Um, to go with that, I also grabbed a water bottle. I love these. I take them to my part-time job, and if I lose them, I don't care, but I just put water in them. Um, yeah, we have a fountain, a soda machine, but we have we can have water. So I like to bring this and just have water to drink because it gets dry in there. Right, Wellington? He's sitting in front of the little fire that we have going today. Okie dokie. Now, I bought some Easter candies. And I'm not giving Sarah and her boyfriend a ton of candy, so I just got a few things. But these are always a fabulous gift for Easter baskets for $1.25. These are solid. Russell Stover, good brand. 1.3 ounce, not a ton of candy. Should we do our thumbnail? Perfect. So each of the kids will get, I mean, they have to have an Easter bunny. I mostly got them travel stuff. I got some of these strawberry cow tails. There's a fair amount in here. So I'm going to split this bag between the two of them. And you'll see what I'm going to put it all in. Um, I got them each a four pack. So these come, just so you're aware, in these little eggs. So I got each of them a four pack. They have adult money. If they want candy, they can go buy it. But I just got them each four, but I had little things to put them in. And then I, they love these. So then I got also, these are just the little tiny mini eggs. Like instead of Hershey Kisses, these are just little mini eggs. So I got each of them a package of these as well. So they got eggs. Sarah loves her some jelly beans. Um, so I got, one of them is getting Kool-Aid jelly beans. I always buy these for her and this is the perfect pack. And then the other one is getting Jell-O brand jelly beans. I just love them. They had these, they have sweet tarts. They have um, Fruit Loops. I think I got her a bunch last, like last year, I think I got her every flavor. I'm not doing that this year, but I did get them so far, some candy for their Easter, little Easter baskets. And then what I'm going to fill them with in, grabbed a few things here. Oh, I love these. These are just a little two pack of bunnies. And look at the little ears. So I got that one and I got this one. I love them. And then I grabbed these again. Oh. So I would just fill these up with a little bit of candy and then you just drawstring it and tie it. I mean, I'll get a little more candy, probably, um, I don't know, something at Target, but I can put candy in these 
for their little Easter baskets. And then I have some plastic eggs as well. But these are perfect, especially if you don't want to give a lot of candy. Let's see here, I'll show you. So for these, you can open them up. And I just have to buy the prepackaged candy. Or I'm wondering. Not that. I'm wondering if the jelly beans. Oh. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'll just slide this right in their little Easter basket and it has jelly beans in it. I love it. Now, if you're not doing Easter candy, but you like these, fill them with stuffing and just lay them in a bowl. But I think this is gonna be perfect just to make it look cute. I, like I said, I don't wanna get them a ton of candy, but I am debating. Um, I So we're all going to Ireland this summer. So this, a lot of what I'm getting them is for our trip. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'm gonna be getting some euros because, um, well, I'm going overseas and I need euros. But I was gonna get maybe an extra $20 for each of them and put it in their basket, but we'll see. I do not have a lot of stuff here at all. Um, I did get these for their baskets. These are the Essential brand. They're just the little mini lint rollers that you can put in your suitcase. We all have pets. They have dogs that shed. I have cats. I will get a pack for myself as well. And I would just bring one and then I can lint roll to my heart's content. You get 40 sheets, which is perfect. So each of them will get one of these in their Easter basket. Yes. Oh, I got myself just another little pack of these. It's just chocolate. I have found I can tolerate the chocolate. I can tolerate the mint. I cannot tolerate the caramel. I think I've said that before. The caramel causes some serious upset stomach situation. So we don't do that. Um, I also picked up maybe for their baskets. I haven't decided yet, but I just grabbed these eggs. I'll show you what they are. And this is not new to the Dollar Tree. And I actually got an extra one because I think I would like to just stick it on my mantle next to my, um, I have a bunny that has some gold. Cause I'm thinking white and gold this Easter for around my house. If I get around to it, I've been, I've been kind of busy with my jobs. But these, if you haven't seen them before, they go together like, oop, like this. Come on, girl. There we go. And you have the gold on the back. And then you can fill them with anything that you like. So what may happen is all the little stuff that I got them for, like, Little travel stuff. I don't know if that'll fit in here. I can't take it apart, but can I? Let's see. I'm trying to take this apart. We got time. It's only, I only have a couple more little things to show. So, no, it doesn't quite go in there. Bummer. But I may take some of the like travel stuff that I get for them, the little things, and just fill this up and put that next to it. I don't know. We'll see. If not, it's not a big deal. But these are fun. Little Easter eggs. I got pink for Sarah and gold for Michael. And oh, the last few things. So I got for myself these scunchy little tiny clips i don't have a lot of hair up here it's i know i hide it with my curls it's very thin i'm actually trying medox medoxidil or rogaine um here it's right here and on my eyebrows because they're thinning but i don't have a lot of a lot of hair so a lot of the bigger claw clips um are just too much see i mean i can totally do that and it will hold my hair back I'm sure they're for children, <laughs> but anyway, so I grabbed this little four pack because it's perfect for my hair. 
And I have all the different colors because sometimes if I'm doing something, I just want my hair out of my face. So I grab those for me and um, some meat sticks. Now, these are actually good until next, uh, 2025, but I think these are going to go with me when I go to Canada. These are just great snacks for me to have. I mean, I buy them all the time. I eat them all the time. So I just grabbed and actually I got some at the grocery store too with cheese, but. These are nice because, especially for travel, they don't require refrigeration. So, like, when I do go to Ireland, it gets closer. I'll start stocking up on these, and I just shove them in my suitcase. And then I have them for snacks when we're doing tours and stuff like that. This one tour we're going on did say even in the paperwork that um, we have to pack a lunch. I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to pack a lunch, but I'm going to. And then the last and the pretty much the most exciting thing I found. What is that you say? It is a storage box. Now, you want to be careful putting it together. Like, just pay attention to all your little sides. What the Hades? So, it's just a basket, right? It does have handles, but I'm going to use this upstairs under my bathroom sink for all my cleaning product they came in white gray and black and gray or white solid blue and then one that's black and gray but I just like the white but I'm going to put it in my bathroom sink and put all my chemicals and sponges and stuff to keep it together and if it gets yucky I can hose it out in the shower I don't know, I grabbed two of them. For $1.25, you're not going to beat this for a storage container. And when you're not using it, so for whatever reason, it lays flat like that. I know. Isn't that exciting? So I'm going to open it up because, well, you know, it may have to hold some of my snacks. Oh, my gosh. Could you see me carrying this through the airport full of snacks? <laughs> I would totally do it. I would 100% do it, except for it would just be inconvenient. All right, so, oh wait, I got one more thing for travel. This is for me, it's just anti-diarrheal, but when I was in Scotland, I got the travel stomach bad. And um, it was very expensive to find some of this and hard because I was in a touristy area, not like in a regular grocery store, but it was a little challenging finding some. So I'm like, for $1.25, I'm sure it works. And there's 12 caplets, capsules in here. And what I will do is just take it out and throw these in my, like out of the box. It says what it is on the back. So I don't have to worry about that and throw it in my suitcase, just in case um, it was miserable. I'm not gonna lie. And the only thing that kept me alive was the emodium so I figure I'll grab that and then at some point I will find like um Benadryl and I have ibuprofen I'll bring Sudafed oh I'll bring Sudafed with me and yeah I just medicines that I take on the regular which is Sudafed for sure ibuprofen uh, my regular medication and I know somebody had mentioned it in the and below you do not have to bring travel with your medications in their pill bottles that becomes very bulky and a lot i sort mine out each pill has an identifier on it so if anybody in tsa or international questions what my medication is you just google do an image search for the pill and it will tell you that it's for my thyroid like they don't now, the one thing I do bring in the box with the prescription is my Ozempic shots um, because there's a needle involved. But even that, I mean, it's in its own vial. It's marked what it is and you can't get it in the United States without a prescription. So I'm not that concerned. But yeah, that is what I've got this week so far. I'm hopeful now that Valentine is over. We're going to get some more spring stuff. Yeah, I did get some garland at Joanne, and I'm going to redecorate my little trellis for over my desk. Actually, I'm going to do that tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will talk with you later. Bye.